on wings hello and welcome to we on wings i am your host sumit chaturvedi if you are passionate about flying and all things linked to aviation sit back and get ready to enjoy the show as we have many exciting stories lined up for you The province in Indonesia has ordered Muslim air hostesses to wear the hijab. A peacock was denied boarding in the US and some horrific air crashes have taken place. Let's take a look at some of the top stories that made the headlines in the world of aviation this week. An Indonesian province has ordered Muslim female flight attendants landing in the region to don a hijab upon arrival. Any non-compliance would culminate in flight attendants facing punishment by religious police. This directive was issued in the Aceh province on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. Muslim women in Aceh are required to wear a hijab under the Islamic Sharia law. Non-Muslim women need not wear the head covering scarf but I expected to dress modestly. Uh, karena seram, karena Aceh ini serambi Mekah ya, uh, saya sangat setuju. Pastinya karena kita harus menghormati juga. Aturan di kanun sudah ditetapkan bahwa dalam uh, di tanah syariah ini kita harus menggunakan uh, busana bersyariah, busana muslimah untuk uh, pemuluh-pemuluh yang beragama Islam. Tapi kita tidak bisa memaksa untuk yang pemuluh agama lain itu mereka akan menyesuaikan. Jadi eh, memang ini adalah sebuah kewajiban, ya, kewajiban bagi semua masyarakat. Punishment for those refusing to comply has not been decided. In a bizarre incident, Dexter, an emotional support peacock, was denied boarding by United Airlines much to the dismay of his owner and to the amusement of passers-by in New Jersey. A video shared by Sherry Ross on Twitter shows the animal casually perched on his owner's shoulder as she walks into the Newark Liberty International Airport. Other photographs shared by the Jet Set TV show Dexter perched on a baggage trolley. United stopped the animal from boarding, claiming it didn't meet its size and weight standards, among other reasons. The peacock has its own Instagram account. Dexter the Peacock. Emotional support animals typically include dogs and cats and are used by people with some sort of disability, which generally needs to be verifiable. US Air Force Chief General David L. Goldfein flew India's indigenous light combat Tejas aircraft on the 3rd of February from an airbase in northwestern Jodhpur. He was accompanied by India's Air Vice Marshal A.P. Singh as co-pilot. General Goldfein was on an official visit to India in a bid to deepen ties between the two countries. Being pitched as a replacement for the MiG-21, the light combat Tejas aircraft is a single-seat Indian fighter and uses a single jet engine. Tejas can fly at 1,350 kilometers per hour with a payload capacity of 4,000 kilograms. It is manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. In a move seen as a big step towards defense indigenization, the Indian Air Force placed orders for 83 Tejas aircrafts with HAL in December 2017. tragic incident, five people died as a result of a collision between two French military helicopters on the 2nd of February in the south of France. The helicopters belonged to an army flight training school. The crash occurred between the small towns of Cabas and Carcès in the picturesque Var region about 50 kilometers north of Saint-Tropez. 
debris scattered across two large zones, but no one on the ground was hurt. The crash site was cordoned off after the incident. Images posted to local news websites showed large numbers of emergency service vehicles attending to the scene. The cause for the crash has not been determined yet. Three F-15 SG fighter jets soared through the skies in a fly past over Changi, kicking off the Golden Jubilee celebrations of the Republic of Singapore Air Force. Singapore's Air Force is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year as it continues its transformation into a modern fighting force. A series of activities including exhibitions for visitors and aerial displays will put the spotlight on the capabilities of its Air Force. At the launch ceremony at the Singapore Air Show, another F-15 SG was unveiled at the 50th anniversary celebration paint scheme, blue and white, with the RSAF-50 logo. The Singapore Air Show is considered one of Asia's largest aerospace and defensive events. A video released on the internet showed a Russian pilot ejecting by parachute after the warplane was shot down in the Idlib province of Syria. The Russian plane was shot down over the town of Khan al-Subl near the city of Sarakib, close to a major highway where the Syrian army and Iranian-backed militias are trying to advance. Russia said that the aircraft was downed by a portable surface-to-air missile. Video that emerged on social media showed the wreckage of Russian plane that was down in northern Syria. The footage showed what appeared to be the burning wreckage of the Russian plane. Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 became the world's greatest aviation mystery when it disappeared without a trace in March 2014. Search for the missing flight had resumed in January this year, after Malaysian authorities took up an offer by an American exploration firm to continue the hunt. Malaysian Airlines MH370 search vessel Seabed Constructor sailed into Perth, Western Australia for refueling and maintenance after two weeks of searching the southern Indian Ocean for any signs of the missing aircraft. Malaysia agreed to pay U.S. firm Ocean Infinity, who owns Seabed Constructor, up to $70 million if it finds the plane within 90 days. Ocean Infinity's vessel carries eight autonomous underwater vehicles, or submersible craft, that will scour the seabed with scanning equipment for information to be sent back for analysis. Flight MH370 disappeared en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing in March 2014 with 239 people, mostly Chinese, on board. Australia, China and Malaysia had ended the $200 million search of a 120,000 square kilometer area in January last year, despite investigators urging the search to be extended to a 25,000 square kilometer area further to the north. China's Civil Aviation Administration has administered the first state-level pilot program for delivery drones in Xi'an city of northwest China. China's second largest e-commerce player, JD.com, is going to participate in the first national pilot program and test delivery drones on a large scale. The Chinese provincial government will cooperate with JD to collect large numbers of flying data and samples delivered by drones to explore the appropriate technical means, management mode and regulatory standards for the safe operations of delivery drones. Companies across the world are already planning to use drones for delivery of different goods within cities.
It is time to take a break, but stay tuned as we bring you up to speed with some thrilling highlights from the Singapore Air Show. Welcome back. Air shows are organized across the globe to bring buyers and sellers together. It's a platform where major deal announcements are often made. The ongoing Singapore Air Show features some of the latest technologies and equipment by top aerospace companies from around the world. Take a look. Asia's largest aerospace and defense event, the Singapore Air Show 2018 has kicked off in the Southeast Asian city-state. The exhibition has seen participation from global aviation firms including big aircraft manufacturers. It is attracting more than 1000 firms from 50 countries and regions this year including 65 of the top 100 global aviation companies such as Airbus, Boeing and UTC Aerospace Systems. Small and medium-sized aviation technology enterprises from around the world are also participating in the air show. Exhibitors want to use such a platform to promote exchanges and cooperation and further expand their businesses. The dominant theme this time to the Singapore Air Show is autonomous crafts and drones, especially as maritime security is an important issue in the region. Singaporeans could also be seeing these drones in their lives and skies very soon. Airbus and the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore will be testing out a new drone which will help deliver packages in Singapore, one of the world's densest cities. Some experts say autonomous planes could cut costs by saving on salaries paid to pilots who are commanding some of the highest pay in the industry. They could also help improve safety by using automated technology to navigate today's crowded skies. There is one big hurdle though public acceptance. Experts predict it will be more than a decade before we see pilotless commercial planes. The Republic of Singapore Air Force also showcased stunts in celebration of its 50th anniversary this year. Showing their skill and muscle power, the Singapore Air Force is among Southeast Asia's biggest defence spenders. As geopolitical tensions continue to rise in Asia, Defence remains a big theme at this year's show. The Singapore Air Show is on from the 6th of February until the 11th. It is a biennial event and ranks among the world's three largest shows of its kind. The number of visitors to the Singapore Air Show this year are expected to reach 130,000. Singapore's air show is expected to pump more than $250 million into the local economy from the thousands of outside visitors it attracts. The Asia-Pacific is the fastest growing region in the aircraft industry with low-cost carriers increasing and demand growing from Chinese travellers. Singapore's location and infrastructure puts it in a prime position to benefit. Chinese companies such as the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China and the China National Aviation Corporation also drew a lot of attention at the exhibition with their new commercial and military aircraft. It is no surprise that aviation has been a popular theme for filmmakers. So what are the top 5 aviation films of all time? Our entertainment correspondent Sejal Pandey brings you her top picks. Wright Brothers, Wilbur and Orville White began experimenting with the concepts of flight in the late 1880s. This was around the same time that some people began experimenting with photo blending them together to give the illusion of a motion picture. So the dawn of cinema happened around the same time as the first flight. It's not surprising that some of the best aviation movies are based on important historical events, while others just thrill with their jet fueled action. So here are my picks for the top 5 aviation themed movies, you're allowed to disagree. I feel the need, the need for speed. I feel the need, the need for speed. Who can 
forget these lines. Top Gun has embedded itself in American pop culture like no other film. The 1986 romantic military action drama film directed by Tony Scott follows students at the US Navy's elite fighter pilot school where two cocky pilots, Pete Mitchell and Tom Kassensky, played by Tom Cruise and Wal Kilmer respectively, why for the top spot. When not flying, Mitchell carries on a romance with civilian consultant Charlotte Blackwood, played by Kelly McGillis. The film scored big with audiences on the strength of its visuals, especially the vertigo inducing aerial sequences featuring F 14. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. There was something about the film that made people sit up and say, hey, I want to be a pilot. The US Navy stated that after the release of the film, that the number of young men who enlisted wanting to be naval aviators went up by 500%. Watch the birdie. Firing. Next up is Air Force One. Tonight I come to you with a pledge to change America's policy. Atrocity and terror are not political weapons. And to those who would use them, your day is over. Now our next film may not be directly based in aviation, but it takes place in one of the most well-known aircrafts in the world, the Air Force One. Air Force One, clear for takeoff. Thank you for your hospitality, Moscow. In this action-packed thriller, the Air Force One is hijacked by a group of terrorists, leaving it up to who else but the President of the United States to save his family. Harrison Ford plays James Marshall, a one-time combat hero in the Vietnam War, who is now President of the United States. Gary Oldman plays the leader of a gang of terrorists who gain control of the Air Force One as it's flying back home from Moscow. Your national security advisor has been executed. He just bought you another half hour. Sir, you parachute. I'm not leaving without my family. You know who I am? I'm the President of the United States. Though the fantasy story about the president saving the day is quite unbelievable, the action sequences fly past and keep you on the edge of your seats, making this nail-biter from director Wolfgang Peterson a must-watch. You could finish this with one phone call! No. This is a big Up next, The Aviator. In the 1930s and 40s, eccentric billionaire Howard Hughes helped to push the boundaries of aviation. He formed the Hughes Aircraft Company, chased speed records, bought and expanded Transworld Airlines and built the notorious giant flying boat, Spruce Goose. Martin Scorsese's biopic centers on Hughes' obsession to innovate first as a movie producer and director and later in the aviation industry. I'd like to know everything there is to know about Mr. Hughes. The Aviator has amazing performances by Leonardo DiCaprio as Howard Hughes and Kate Blanchett who plays Catherine Hepburn, the love of Hughes' life. The film chronicles the innovator's amazing achievements and the personal demons he grappled with throughout his life. Our next pick is Sully. No one warned us. No one said you were going to lose both engines at a lower altitude than any jet in history. Sully, Miracle on the Hudson, is a 2016 American biographical drama film directed by Clint Eastwood. No one has ever trained for an incident like that. Sully is a depiction of the Miracle on the Hudson, the emergency water landing made by the bird damaged airliner on the river next to Manhattan. 320 diving for the river. You did everything you could. Captain Chelsea Sullenberger and co pilot Jeff Skiles successfully set down US Airways Flight 1549, and all 155 people on board were safely offloaded. 
playing the part of the cool-headed and heroic Captain Sully, Tom Hanks once again reminds us why he continues to be America's favorite movie star. And finally, a Bollywood movie makes it to the list. Good morning, Captains. I'm Nija Banoth. I'm your head purser today. Nija is based on the true story of the courageous Nija Panot, a flight attendant who sacrificed her own life while fighting for the lives of 359 passengers on the Pan Am Flight 73 in 1986. The flight was hijacked on ground in Karachi by four armed Palestinians of the Abu Nidal group. The role of the heroic 22-year-old part-time model is played by Sonam Kapoor. Throughout the horrifying 17-hour situation, Nija didn't succumb to her fears. With her swift thinking, she managed to save the lives of 359 passengers and fellow crew members. biopic of an ordinary model turned air hostess rising to the occasion cannot be missed. That is all we have in this episode of Wings, but we leave you with some stunning visuals from the 2018 season of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship that opened in Abu Dhabi, where top aerobatic racers battled it out for the top spot. Take care and fly safe. The 2018 season of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship opened in Abu Dhabi. Top aerobatic racers battled it out around the inflatable pylon courses made famous by the racing series. American Michael Gullion collected his first Red Bull Air Race World Championship victory in nine years as he soared to the top of the standings. He flew first in the final and set a blistering time of 53.695 seconds. He found himself at the top of the leaderboard for the first time in his career. Number 99 Gullion, 53.695 seconds, no penalties. Congratulations, this is holding you in first place. You know, I was very fast all week and consistent, very consistent, and we knew that going in. And so I was just, I was excited for qualifying. I was excited for the race, but I couldn't get too excited. So it was just trying to put one foot in front of the other, step by step by step, and then uh, that plan worked out. Defending world champion Yoshihide Moroya was a close second, with the Czech Ripa coming third. This was the 11th consecutive season opener to take place on Abu Dhabi's Corniche. The weather was ideal for racing and more than 50,000 spectators turned up. After Abu Dhabi, the pilots will fly into Cannes, France for a race in April.